hi guys welcome back to tutorial ways and in this video i will show you that how you can create a controller through this command line code and also uh, how we will save that controller into our routes uh, file so that it can be extended through browser so first of all if you want to create or if you want to use artisan uh, command line tool in that case you will have to break here so you can press control break here then the server will be disconnected and now you can write here in code so we will write here php artisan make controller then my controller now press enter and then our controller is created successfully so let's see where this part is created now let's go to here in the player app and then inside that http and inside that http folder you can see controller and inside that here my controller file is created here so now if you try to open this then you can see here my controller and it's skeleton file is generated here now let's create a view so let's go to resource folder here app and then block sorry and then resources and views inside that i'm just copying this and we will rename it to um, say my view dot blade dot php Right into my view file. View file. Now, let's go to control, and then here we need to write that then. We are cre cre creating a function, sorry, index, then here, render view. So we are creating a function here, function index, inside that, and right here, return, turn then, uh, what is view name? Some call here. Our name is my view. Let's check again. Was it my view? My view, small case. Now let's get back to our routes file. Let's click on this wave. And then routes now let's write this code so what i'm doing here this is the alias of this controller and this function so here we will access this controller and this this, this function through this my alias so try to access here my right click then you can see right up to my view file which we had written there. So where it is coming from? So how does it work? Let's recap me. First of all, I created controller from here, my controller, through uh, this artisan command line. And then once the controller is created, then the controller was created here, block inside the app, and inside that this http and inside controller then this controller was created here now inside this controller we just wrote one function this index and then return view and this is my view file now we created a view 
going inside app folder. Sorry, here block and then resources. Inside that, we created one black file called my view, and that my view is called here. Remember, we don't need to write here dot blad or dot php. Only you need to write the file name here. And semicolon. Now, our controller is created, and the function is created, and as well as we have created our view file. But still, you cannot be able to access into the browser. To access into the browser, you need to create the routes. So let's go to routes folder. This route file results in as I displayed in the previous video. Here in uh, here inside uh, routes and then wave. So inside that we have opened this. Now we have reached here one route that this will be the alias. For example, if I write here by view, so we will be able to access through this name here. Okay. So rather than writing this whole thing, actually this is like this. Okay, my view slash index. It's not like that. Okay, so actually in place of this controller and function, so this is the path actually. This one is single name of this controller and inside that index. So this is the very basic which I tried to display you that how the controller, the views, and then a route works. So in the next chapter, I will display you more that how we can pass parameter in the controller and how different parameters can be passed through the controller and from controller how we can pass the value to the view file. So stay connected and see you in the next video.